Good morning, folks. We're out a bit later this morning because we're in New Mexico for the Electric Universe Conference. Since I'll be talking tonight on the sun and climate variability, and since we like showing you all sides of the argument and then letting you decide for yourself, here's the counterpoint to me and how apt that it is from Michael Mann, the individual who held an open Ask Me Anything on the climate at which dozens of people, including myself, were censored so that the one-sided show could continue. In case you aren't in Albuquerque and don't want to wait for a rebuttal to Mr. Mann, try the Friends of Science link we gave you down below. Good article and one of the cooler things I think I've ever seen, ever. We're looking at earthquakes where the West Pacific took the top spot over the last 24 hours at New Zealand and Taiwan, also had an Indo swarm, but with the most significant rumble of the day probably being well south in the Atlantic Ocean there. Apart from that, we've got more moderate tremors in the United States, both central and well to the east, Cayman Islands a bit above average as well. Light day in most of Europe, that same line of clouds is cresting non-stop. Down under, we're watching the rain expected yesterday linger in the north and southeast, meanwhile out further east of New Zealand. Tropical Cell Mike has some wind power, but unlike the strong southern storms, he's also got the moisture and rain potential to flood. Let's hope this stays clear of people. Meanwhile, the majority of the U.S. is in for a beautiful day as high pressure puffs out his chest and dares a low to come test him. They're gauging their chances north of the border in Canada right now, and the people on the ground below them are very, very aware of it. Right now, the KP index is calm, but that's going to change. Around a couple hours ago, we began taking a density shock that is ticking every one of the sensitive meters we look at. I think this is the coronal hole stream. Would be right on time, and auroras are definitely expected tonight at high latitude. Let's look at the sunspots. First, the good-sized umbras up north have no friends and no chance for magnetic mixing, so we're going to start on the south. In on the departing limb, with the protruding positive blue umbra like that, there will be breaks and negative intrusion. As this heads for the limb, it's a polar radiation concern for Earth and all the inner planets with our magnetic connections to the sun grouped there. Looking dead center disk, we see a baby group that is not yet complex, but which should be a monster if it decides to grow like a traditional spreader. Now this leaves us on the incoming limb. While one finds it difficult to definitively call a delta spot anywhere, you can see just how much umbral mixing is going on with any morphing around, we should expect some more flaring. Indeed, we're already starting to take it. Took an M flare already today, and we should see some more. We'll start by watching it in our shots of our star to close. It's 7 a.m. in the east, 5 a.m. here at the Electric Universe Conference. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.